Good evening, everybody. Okay, let's quiet down. Oh, my, my, we got a few tears, got a lot of laughter. Uh, this is a joyful night when our children come and give us a little bit of uh, some of the joyful music they've been uh, learning uh, over this whole year. And it's uh, quite impossible to even think about the year coming to an end. So we're glad that you're here tonight. We are in the middle of the season of Lent. Uh, sometimes we're already in the middle of Holy Week by this time, but not this particular year. So we've got uh, the Masters and Holy Week to get through before we'll find Easter. Uh, so tonight we're going to take a little pause from the somberness of Lent, and we're going to celebrate with kids' songs. So I'm excited about this. Uh, the cuteness factor goes up by at least a thousand fold tonight, and I hope that you get a lot of pictures in this. We're going to begin with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Gracious and holy God, we do thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love and for your son, Jesus Christ. Tonight, we thank you for our children, and especially for their teachers and leaders who have taught them to sing a joyful noise unto our Savior, Jesus Christ. Tonight, may that enthusiasm and exuberance pass on to our own souls so that the burdens of our day or perhaps the week, maybe even the year, uh, will be lightened tonight as we receive their gift of song and joy. Uh, for this, we are so grateful, and we give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I before we actually begin with the children, and we will start with the littlest angels, I do want to make sure that you're aware, children's, I'm part of the Children's Council that helps support Lillian and all of the programs and ministries of the church. The choir year is ending, but there are some opportunities this summer for children that we want to make sure you have on your calendar. One in particular is Vacation Bible School. We have some new things this year. We have a four-day VBS that actually is four hours. So it goes from 9 to 1. It begins June 17th. The week after VBS is a very exciting all-day camp here at church called Grow Camp. If that's interesting to you, you can look that up on the web. However, what I want to do first in regards to VBS, because we're doing something we've never done before, we have a lady named Jenny who's from Horizon Records in Nashville, Tennessee, and she's coming this year. So here's just a short clip of Jenny to give you a little flavor of Vacation Bible School this year. Hi, everybody. My name is Jenny Williamson with Horizon Records from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm with the music God is Great. I am so excited that we're going to be coming down there. We're going to be at VBS June 17th at Trinity on the Hill Methodist Church. Save the date and be there. Can't wait to see y'all. program tonight, if you want to go ahead and sign your children up for Vacation Bible School, there will be ladies that are part of the Children's Council that will be, that have registration forms. You can go ahead and sign them up. All right. Thank you, Miss Angie. Hope you all will uh, consider sending your kids to that. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely great. Well, let's stand and uh, sing our first hymn this evening while our uh, littlest angels come on up. Oh, 4,000 tongues to sing. The music is uh, up on the screen, I think. Yes? And in your program. Music is in your program. Here we go.
singing, you may be seated. have their own ideas about where they want to stay.
Okay, I'm going to call your name and listen for your name, and you'll come get your um, special prize here, uh, your certificate, and be seated. And at the end of tonight, there is a goodie bag for everyone. Okay, Riley Kate Wills, will you come down, Riley Kate? And Travers Payne and Ryan Kate Brooks and Mackenzie Burnett when, we, when the program's over tonight. And Kate Collins, have two Kates, <laughs> Nate Dye. Kate, stand right here and wait for me to get yours. I have the other Kate. Nate, Mary Margaret Homler. Ridley Kinsey, Callaway Thigpen, Ford Thompson, Julia Reynolds Long, and Kate Walker. Okay, here we go. All right. Thank you, Miss Angie. Thank you, Littlest Angels Choir. Which book is the best? <laughs> all right, all right, very good. <laughs> all right, our next hymn is Tell Me the Stories of Jesus. While uh, Joyful Sounds Choir, you guys come on up, and uh, you all can remain seated. The words are in uh, your program.
interesting here. <laughs> this group is full of energy and it's always a lot of fun to show up on Wednesday night after I've spent the day with first graders to come and spend the day with more first graders and kindergartners. So uh, there is such a joy to be around and I'm always tired on Wednesday nights when I get home so I get a good night's sleep. I, I told uh, Amanda just now, I'm going to put her on the spot a little bit. Um, one of the things that uh, I've really encouraged our, uh, our children's choir directors is to start teaching our kids solfege and, uh, and some music theory and whatnot. And we've, we've begun that, started a great job. And Amanda has done a great, great job starting with our youngest, uh, our second youngest choir. And so I, I kind of put her on the spot here. Uh, and she's going to show you a little bit of what, uh, of what they've been learning as far as musicianship and uh, a little bit of music theory uh, this year. This is completely unrehearsed. <laughs> That's a good point. Great job. It, it dawned on me that when, uh, when I said we're, we're teaching the kids, uh, beginning to teach the kids solfege, um, that it, may, it might be that uh, some people are not sure what that, what that even means. Um, so what solfege is, is it's a, it's a series of, if you've heard uh, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, it's part of the Kodai method of, uh, of music education, which begins to teach really uh, uh, kind of uh, more of a structured way of teaching music and music theory to kids, which, uh, which really helps with their oral skills, uh, their sight reading, and pitch matching skills. So we hope to carry that on through all of our children's choirs uh, starting this year and into the future, and uh, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a great way of uh, just equipping our kids to, to sing even, uh, even better for the Lord. So thank you very much, guys, and we've got some certificates for you. Okay, when I call your name, I want you to walk down here and get your certificate, okay? And then we're going to go sit back down. Lauren Bailey. Elizabeth Cochran. Emerson Ray Dudley. Ellie Kate Jones.
Trip Jones. Vivian Lawson. Libby Morgan. Reese Swisher. Ann Collins. Katie Ray Crane. Lane Dunaway. Blakely Hopkins. Virginia, jo Virginia Johnson. Levi Jones. Charlotte O'Dell. Jane Fulton Thigpen. Beckham Thornton. And Cliff Walker. Thank you, Joyful Sounds Choir. All right, for our next hymn, we're going to sing My Hope is Built on Nothing Less uh, as the Jubilee Choir comes forward. You can remain seated and uh, let's sing. Come on up, Jubilee Choir. featuring one of our choir members, Yumi Shin, on the violin. Yumi's going to move and get her violin, and she's going to be right next to that mic so we can hear her. And if you have an instrument in your hand, Jubilee, I want you to put it on the floor right beside you, okay? Yumi has been playing for two years, and we wanted to highlight her beautiful violin playing on our next piece.
we're just going to go ahead, Yumi, if you don't mind, and have you solo first, and then we can sing the second time, just like we rehearsed it. So we'll just do the whole thing again, and this time we'll start and feature Yumi. We're gonna sing the next hymn, This Is My Father's World, while the Wesley Choir comes on, uh, comes on up. Come on, see
Okay, it has been a joy to work with these second and third graders this year. Parents, thank you for making the commitment every Wednesday night. We know you have a lot of choices. Thank you for choosing choir. Um, I'm going to hand out your certificates, Jubilee, and Miss Kitchen is going to hand you a green folder. Parents, what's in the green folder is the hymns that we have sung each month. We've done, except for March, we didn't get to March this year, but every month we featured a different hymn and we talked about the meaning of the words and pulled out some of the attributes of God that they can learn from the hymns. A lot of churches don't sing hymns anymore. I'm grateful that ours does. So if your child plays piano, you can take that green folder and have them um, play the melody, uh, or they could just enjoy singing it um, and just have good memories from choir. Not everyone has a hymnal in their home, so this is my gift to each of them this year. All right, first is John Bailey. So come down, John, and get your certificate and your folder. Allie Brandenburg. Sumter Foley. Gaynor Godwin. James Gregory, here he comes, Caroline Kennedy, Genevieve Kamanavan, George Lawson, Josie Miller, Stuart Mitchell, Evie Rose, Neil, Jane Marshall Odell, Lucy Tyson, Trace Neal, Sims Schweizer, Yumi Shin. Didn't Yumi do a nice job on the violin tonight? Thank you, Yumi. Forrest Walker, and Ellie Morgan.
bit about what you got here. Okay. Hello. While they're uh, getting in place, uh, we don't do this stuff and the up down stuff like Amanda does and all the sign language that Angie does. I just point. I teach them how to count four and point. And if, so if you want to learn how to play handbells, just count to four and wait till I point at you. You can ask, you can ask Lee right there. And, and Susan Proctor loves that. And so does Melissa. Just point. So it says, why do you wave your arms so much? It says, because they have to stay with me. So that's handbells. And uh, you notice we had one purple shirt, so we had one third grade. So it is third, fourth, and fifth grade. So any of those second graders coming up that want to join us next year, or the purple shirts we have right now that want to join us next year, can join us because we need some more people for the high school and middle school. And I was told that in your bulletin there was an insert. You need to fill those out also for the Easter extravaganza and turn those in. We have two songs we're going to finish with, with Wesley Choir. The first one is the story of Noah. The second song is the song that we close our rehearsal every week with, and my husband Van will play guitar with us on that one.
All right, our thanks tonight to Maddie Brooks and Chapman Godwin, Anna Griffin, Grace McGilvray, Emily Dykes, and Michael Blanchard, Gabriel White, William Brandenburg, Henry Crane, Felton Hickman, Tyler Swope, Sam Dunaway, and one of our Wesley Ringers, Anna Kate Dykes. All right, thank you, Wesley Choir and Miss Angie. Well, it's... Uh, I hope it's pretty obvious that uh, there's a lot of moving parts here when you're dealing with kids and kids' choirs and you're trying to get them to do what you just want them to do and need them to do, and sometimes they do that and sometimes they don't. But we are incredibly blessed, so incredibly blessed, to have such a great, uh, a great group of volunteers who, uh, who give their time and their talent and, and sacrifice so much to be here week after week. Um, it, it really is true when, uh, when I say this that it, it takes an army uh, to, to do a children's choir. And in fact, that's a part of the reason why there's a lot of churches around the country who do not have, uh, uh, no longer have children's choirs. But today we are, uh, we're very fortunate to have, um, uh, to have this program. Uh, when, I first came to, when I first came to Trinity and I was talking with Danny, uh, about uh, about the staff and just the what was going on around here, um, I asked them to tell me specifically about the children's choir directors and their accompanists and and their helpers and uh, and and whatnot. And I then asked him, how much do they get paid? I asked him how much they get paid, and his answer literally forced me to pick up my jaw off the floor, because none of them get paid to do anything that they do. Nobody gets paid a dime. And that reason, and, and the reason this was so shocking was because I knew how much hard work goes into planning. Because it's not just a matter of showing up. It's a matter of researching what, uh, what, uh, what is appropriate for the kids to do. Um, preparing themselves on how they're going to teach the kids to sing it, and then all the energy that goes into just managing and controlling, corralling, and directing them, and so uh, and doing that week after week. And ladies and gentlemen, that just speaks to the awesomeness, in my opinion, of our volunteers who help out with our kids' choirs each and every week. And so tonight, we want to recognize and honor their, uh, their volunteer service with us. And I'd, I'd like to, uh, we've got a couple things for them. 
And uh, I had a helper. There she is right over there. First want to recognize uh, our helpers for our Littlest Angels. Uh, our director of Littlest Angels, uh, Angie Haywood. Yes, give her an applause. Our accompanist for our Littlest Angels, Roxanne Beard, and our assistant, Mia Shin. For our Joyful Sounds Choir, our director, Manda Cawthorn. And accompanist, Lisa Roberts, and assistant, Trish Kilpatrick. Where's Trish? Trish Helping out and directing our Jubilee Choir, we've got director Robin Bailey. Robin. <laughs> Accompanist Lee Mitchell. Lee, where's Lee? There she is. And assistant Peggy Kitchen. For Wesley Choir, again, pulling now double duty, uh, Miss Angie Haywood again. And Pam King, their accompanist. And Linda, uh, Lindsay Brandenburg, her, their assistant. And I really appreciate, in particular, uh, Angie taking over Wesley Choir for me this year. Uh, as, uh, as I transitioned in, that was a big help. Um, and so I, I greatly appreciate that. There's, uh, there's one, more, one more person I'd like to thank, or actually one more group of people that I'd like to thank, and that's, all, and that's you. That's the parents of all of these, uh, of these kids. I completely understand the, the sacrifice that it can be um, driving uh, and carrying them all the way over here every, every single week. Um, I, for some, that's a, a quite a bit of a distance, and, uh, and so I just thank you very much for your willingness to have them participate uh, in, uh, in this church family and, uh, and allowing them to serve along with us. Um, it's, it's kind of tradition for the director. I've, I watched a couple of the videos, uh, YouTube videos, of what Danny usually says after some of these things, and it's pretty traditional to talk about the... Uh, uh, some of the um, some of the uh, benefits to uh, having a children's choir program in general, and many of them you already know, such as it helping to enhance brain development, team building, uh, working together, and uh, and teaching the kids working together towards a common goal. But there's one thing that I think is uh, one of the most significant benefits to having a children's choir and having uh, children's choirs uh, and having, uh, having them come week after week uh, that maybe does not get as much press, so to speak, uh, in, in talks like this. Um, one of the most significant benefits that I believe uh, is the spiritual seeds that we are planting week after week in the children that come to our rehearsals and, and come to our church. Week after week, these children are fed with the knowledge of Jesus, of who he is and what he's done for them, and how much they are loved by him. And to me, there is no greater message to send these kids home with than that. And, we, and when we do it with music, Studies have shown and proven that there is so much power in music that whatever we sing, whatever we're singing, has a strong tendency to take root and stick with us for almost our whole lives, more than any other communication method. The significance of this is this. We are equipping our children for when they grow up and they face ever-increasing struggles and challenges, or when they question their faith, or when they question their worth. The Holy Spirit has a way of that old song, that song that they sang in choir, or maybe in Sunday school, 
to remind them of who and whose they are. I can speak to that because I grew up through children's choirs and I'll be going through maybe something not so fun and for whatever reason, a song that I learned in a children's choir when I was in second grade or third gra grade, something that's so simple, the message crystal clear, can have such resonance. And so I so appreciate and can speak to the value of being a product of a children's choir. And that's why I so truly believe in what we're doing here today. We've had a great year, and I really appreciate everybody's uh, time and their investment into this program. Oh, oh, did I forget something? Oh, I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's two more people I forgot to thank, I, and I apologize for that. For our Wesley Ringers, our directors, Jimmy and Ansley Barnett. Can we thank them? I also want to thank our uh, TV and sound crews who are, uh, who are videotaping uh, this and running. Uh, can we give them a, a round of applause as well? And just one, fi uh, one final note before I, before I pray and we sing our last hymn. Children's choirs will begin on Wednesday, August 14th. We'll, uh, we've already set the date. It's already uh, ready to go. And we'll be sending some information home uh, uh, this summer. Can we pray? Uh, let's pray. And then we're going to sing one more song. And then, uh, kids, before you leave, make sure that you grab, uh, grab your goodie bags and whatnot with your, uh, with your choir director. Get some pictures and whatnot. But for right now, let's bow our heads. Let's begin to quiet our hearts. Shh. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and let's pray to God. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, there are few words that we can speak that would um, truly express our gratitude for um, for how you've moved and how you've worked within our children's choir programs this year. Lord, we thank you for the gift of music. Lord, we thank you so much for um, the gift and the, uh, the talents that you've given us that, Lord, we have sought to um, not only impress upon our, our dear children, but uh, to then use that gift to turn back and give to you. Um, and to thank you to worship you, to praise you, to honor and glorify you. Father, I pray that all that we have experienced, all that we have learned, all the seeds that we have planted this year, Lord, through word and communicating your love would, would take root in these children, Lord. Father, that one day um, when, they, when they need to be reminded that... Um, that you love them, that they would remember the songs that they've sung this year, that they would be equipped to share their faith and their testimony with their friends and, uh, and maybe even fellow family members. Lord, I thank you so much for the hard work and dedication of such an incredible group of volunteers who have been willing to give up so much um, to, to invest in the lives of these children. Bless them for their sacrifice, Lord. And we just give you all the honor and praise, Lord. As we, we seek to get none of the, the credit for ourselves. Um, we just want to give it all back to you. We thank you for who you are and what you've done. And we look forward with great anticipation of what you will continue to do and, uh, and pray your blessings upon this program into the future. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Before we leave, we've got one more song. If you would stand with me, please, and we will sing Seek Ye First, the Kingdom of God.
bless you.